Hey, did you know that you can get crypto as a donation to your nonprofit? Yes, and there are hundreds of nonprofits who are getting crypto donated as a donation to their nonprofit. I want to show you how in just a few moments. My name is Aretha Simons. I'm the founder of Multiplying Talents and the Grant Writing School. Why don't you watch this and then set up your account with every.org so you can get these cryptocurrency. Let's go. Let's get this money. Hey. We're talking about how you can accept crypto donations for your nonprofit. I'm so excited to hear more about it, Tina. I'm going to read a little bit about your bio because I think they need to know who you are. Uh, again, as I said, she is the um, co-founder of every.org. It's a nonprofit organization. Excuse me. It, let me back up because see, I told you I was excited. So let me, <laughs> stop. let me stop. A nonprofit for nonprofits building an accessible giving infrastructure to help every person and organization use technology for good. And you might be thinking by now, like this is super cool, but that's a lot of risks and considerations. Um, is this one more thing that I'll have to track? And, you know, crypto is becoming more of a mainstream topic um, and it is very important for organizations to understand how donors might want to support their organization in the future. So I want to introduce you to the nonprofit that I'm part of called every.org and our whole goal is to help nonprofits like yours. So every.org itself is a 501c3 nonprofit and we are building an accessible giving infrastructure to help every person and organization use technology for good. Um, this means making technology like crypto donations free so that nonprofits can access it no matter your size or budget. Um, we hope to be a complement to your existing fundraising strategy and not only for crypto, but also things like stocks and mutual funds. Um, and just a little bit about us, um, we launched in March 2020, but we've already helped over 1,800 nonprofits collectively raise over $5.5 million in funding, with over 40% of that being from recurring donations. So we hope to grow that amount, and surprisingly, crypto has been a huge part of that, and it's our largest I think our second largest um, asset. So if you look at every.org slash metrics, you could see all of our public metrics. Um, and we've raised over $1.2 million in crypto donations since launching the product this year. Um, and I wanted to do a quick demo on how easy it is to get started with every.org today. Um, and as I mentioned, this is only one of the different ways that you could accept crypto support. It is the easiest way because if you're a 501c3 public charity, you're already set up with this. Um, and if you have a crypto donor tomorrow, it's probably the easiest way to quickly onboard and get that donor uh, donating crypto ASAP. Um, if you go to every.org slash crypto today, you could book a 20 minute call with our team, um, it's free. If, if you wanna just like discuss crypto support, if your nonprofit could be a fit. But if you scroll down here, you could click on this create link or button, search your nonprofit by name or EIN. So let's say I was Florida Rescue Farm. And this is the donate crypto button that you could use um, to, add a donate button to your website. You could copy and paste this code or email the instructions to your tech person, or you could share a link to uh, your donors via email or social media. Um, and clicking on this allows the donors to quickly donate cryptocurrency. Um, in this case, I could just do a test. And we use Coinbase in the back end um, to quickly process and convert the cryptocurrency to cash. But um, any donor can scan their QR code or use the hash address to send the crypto to this address. And that's it. Like, that's all they need to do. 
your organization will receive cash at the end of the day, we will convert it automatically to uh, cash, acknowledge the donation, add a custom thank you message if you want, and then send you the cash. So how it works on the back end, if you don't do anything today, um, a donor might come to every.org, click on this donate crypto button, They'll use Coinbase to send the Bitcoin or Ethereum. In this case, this is Bitcoin. And then the Bitcoin will get sent to every.org. Every.org will exchange it for a 1% brokerage fee. Um, also, this brokerage fee is going coming from Coinbase. It's not coming from every.org. And how we deliver the money to your nonprofit is um, dependent on whether you had added your bank info to every.org. If you have, then the direct deposit is free, um, happens weekly or upon request. And then if you don't, then we send the money through Network for Good and they process donations for Facebook fundraisers as well as Amazon Smile, et cetera. Um, and then typically they charge a 2.25% disbursement fee, but right now we are covering the dis disbursement fee um, part of our programs because we want nonprofits to be able to easily accept cryptocurrency and adopt new technology like this. So in a nutshell, um, the fees for using every.org will be the 1% of the donation um, that's charged by Coinbase, no disbursement fees, and that's it. Um, so in a recap for all of those sort of considerations that I mentioned, with the volatility, every.org will sell and convert within one business day regarding receipts, regulations, accounting, and reporting because your nonprofit receives cash and never touches crypto, your um, every.org will be responsible for all of those aspects. Um, and the whole reason why we did this is because we realized that nonprofits have all of these operational challenges and um, regarding every single piece of technology that comes out, we wanted to create something that could function without um, the nonprofits having to do a lot or do that much. So I understand that how cryptocurrency is a very overwhelming topic. Um, and I think it is a really cool topic to delve into if you're interested, but if your nonprofit um, doesn't care too much about delving into the details, um, every daughter is a good default solution that you can use. So that's it for me. I'm happy to make this into a discussion. Um, I saw that people trickled in. I'm sure like there might be a lot of questions regarding crypto and I'm happy to talk about whatever you want. We could go into specific cryptos. We, we could talk about NFTs, whatever you want. Um, and if you know of any other nonprofits that could benefit, um, feel free to email me at tina at every.org. Every That's it. Thank you so wow. much. That was amazing. Every question that I was thinking of, you answered it. Because I was going to say, Tina, so explain to me if I was a nonprofit and I wanted to accept crypto donation. You shared it in your presentation. You explained it. And then I heard you say something about it being an in-kind donation. But I was like, well, in-kind is non-monetary and you have to have value to it. But then when you mentioned that you all would take that crypto and you would you know, take it through every.org, then you would give money to the nonprofit. So that explained that. So that helped me a lot. So I'm going to open it up to anyone else who has a question.